So, Nora, how has this week been? Oh, hard, really hard. Trevor was waiting outside work again today. He said he'd been waiting there all day. He asked me again to run away with him. He says if I don't, he'll kill himself. And do you believe him? I don't know. I mean, he always says that, but maybe this time he means it. So maybe I should. I mean, it's my fault, really. I must have encouraged him. Do you think you encouraged him? Well, not really. I mean, I always told him I wasn't interested, but like he says, I was probably using psychology on him. I don't know, Dr. Aston. What do you think? What do you think? No, really. I, I really need some advice. Please. What do you think? Well, Nora, you know that I can't tell you what to do. It's your decision. What I can do is help you explore it. For instance, when you contemplate running away with Trevor, what feelings do you have about your husband? Well, I, I know, I know Patrick would be heartbroken. But the thing is, he's so loving and nice, he'll find someone easily and be happy. Whereas Trevor, with his tempers and everything, he might not find anyone else. Mm-hmm, yep. And, uh, what about your children? Well, Trevor says I can bring one of them with us, but only one because he needs the other back seat for his wolfhound. She gets sick if she rides in the trunk. But that'll be quite good, probably, because then Patrick and I will each have one of the children, and that's fair. Right. Of course, it's possible Patrick would go to the court. Yeah, well, that's why we're going to go on the run. Trevor's already moved out of his house and burnt it down, and he's going to follow his dream of joining a traveling fairground. <sighs> I, I mean, when I, when I say it like this, it, it sounds a bit stupid, but when Trevor says it, it makes perfect sense. Does it? So what do you think I should do? I really can't tell you what to do. Oh, I wish you could. Yep, so do I. But I can't. All I can do is help guide you towards what feels right to you. What feels right. And not what feels completely insane. Hmm? Well, neither of them feels right, really. I mean, staying with Patrick makes me feel happy and relieved and I don't feel sick anymore because I love him and he loves me. That's interesting. But that would mean upsetting Trevor. Whereas running away with Trevor makes me feel panicky and I cry a bit, but then I wouldn't have to say no to him. So maybe I should run away with Trevor. Before you decide. I, I think I have decided. Before you decide, here's a technique. Imagine yourself a week from now, if you've chosen to go with Trevor. So you and your daughter are living in Trevor's car with his wolf hound as he drives around avoiding police and hoping to run into a traveling fair to join. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now picture what you might be feeling. Do you feel uh, regretful? Worried about your children? Sorry for Patrick? Do you feel like the pattern of self-sabotage we've been talking about here for years has reestablished itself at all? Or, and this is equally valid, do you feel, um, do you feel basically fine? Um, it, it's hard to say. Is it? Uh, really, is it? I think I would feel basically fine. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, because maybe Trevor's turned over a new leaf. I mean, all he needed was somebody who loved him to make him quit the drinking and the drugs and the illegal dog fighting. May, may, yes, yeah, maybe. Uh, but wh what's another possibility? I don't know. I'm so tired. Just tell me what to do. Nora, I can't tell you what you should do or what you should not do. All I can do is help you look at the decision yourself. 
look at it head on. Your loving husband and kids on one side. Your arsonist, dog fighting stalker on the other. See what feels right. I'll tell you what. Cough once for Trevor no. and L twice for Patrick. <coughs> Thank you, Dr. Aston. Thank you so much. Just a cough. Was it? I thought you were saying stay with Patrick. Yes! I was saying Patrick, obviously Patrick. Trevor is a psychopath. Stay with your loving family and stop deliberately screwing up your life. Okay, right. Is one point of view you might want to consider.